It's Monday, June 20th, and rumors that Apple would ditch the headphone jack on the forthcoming iPhone 7 may have been greatly exaggerated. These rumors began swirling in November 2015 and came as something of a surprise given the headphone jack's ubiquity, though it was believed to be planned in the name of slimming the phone down. But recently posted photos indicate the headphone jack will stick around for at least a little while and that the iPhone 7 may support dual SIM cards, up to 256GB of memory, and a dual lens camera, all of which would be firsts for the iPhone. Rumors are rumors, but the past few years have shown iPhone rumors are often reliable. We'll be staying on top of developments over the summer as we head toward September. Normally, water and electricity don't mix, but Elon Musk says Tesla's Model S doesn't just put up with a little rain, it can function for a brief time as a boat. Over the weekend, the internet caught a glimpse of this Tesla S driver successfully navigating through a flooded tunnel in Russia. Watching this electric car weave through all the stalled out gasoline vehicles could be considered shocking, but not to Elon Musk, who took to Twitter to say that yes, the Tesla can kind of sort of float and the wheels could actually serve as propellers. Just don't expect a bunch of Model S owners to go out and test this secret amphibious mode. The Tesla warranty probably wouldn't cover it. And finally, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin space company nailed the fourth flawless landing of its new Shepard reusable rocket in Texas on Sunday with one added twist. The team also intentionally crashed an unmanned crew capsule into the Earth to see what kind of damage would occur in a parachute failure scenario. With one of its three chutes disabled, the capsule plummeted towards the Earth. But as it hits the deck, you see a lot of dust kicked up from its reverse thrusters. Engineers still need to examine the capsule, but at this early stage, they sound happy about the crash. A test crew could climb aboard a Blue Origin rocket as early as next year, with the company's first space tourists falling soon, possibly in 2018. That's TT Daily for today. We'll see you back here on Tuesday.